Hello stars, welcome to Astrology Moon. I'm Kaimi here to help you out with Lilith and Pisces. So this is the last episode. If you want to watch any other episode with Lilith and another zodiac sign, please check them out in the playlist called Lilith. So here we are, Lilith and Pisces. First of all, let's look at Pisces. Pisces is a sign which has two fish. It represents the water energy and it represents these two fish always chasing each other but never being together. So we are looking at opposites, we are looking at duality, and we are looking at separation. So one is going to be the physical realm and the other one is going to be the spiritual realm. Now if they swim fast enough, they both connect two together and therefore they share small bits of energy of the opposite side. Another thing about Pisces is it's going to be a language of love, creativity, passion. So we see this yearn or this want to actually help people, to be involved with other people, to just be friendly, to do whatever it takes to have things done in a smooth manner. Really Pisces energy is just about using that emotion to have love and make sure everyone is on the same page. Another side of Pisces is going to be this kind of subconscious or this inner intuition, this empathetic being which really can sense things which are not normal, things which are hidden. So therefore, how does it handle this situation? It can escape and try to deal with whatever is coming at it because there's all these feelings just coming out through this whole empathetic state of Pisces. But Pisces can be loving, it could be nurturing, it could have so much beautiful energy to it if it's not overwhelmed with emotions. So here we are looking at Lilith. She finds comfort in here, but she doesn't know how to use displacement that much. So it's probably the most confusing for Lilith. Scorpio is the most comfortable and Pisces is the most confusing. Now Lilith is going to represent all of the hate she has in life. She has so much hate. She just wants to be herself, independent. She wants to conquer everything. She has a sex drive. She likes men a lot. The energy of you know finding a man or finding someone who has that masculine energy, she's all for that. She's about power. She's about destruction. She really just does not want anyone to tell her not to do anything. She hates authority because she wants to control her own path. Now, she hates the fact that Things are taboo, things are secretive. So she feels like maybe what she is doing is wrong. And she has this energy of how to express it in a very beautiful way. And if people judge her, she doesn't really care about them. But like I said, Lilith in Pisces is really about not really understanding 100%. Uh, it's about confusion. So Lilith is either going to be A or B or a mix of both. So this is the only sign I can't really pinpoint and say this is 100%, this is not 100%. But anyway, let's jump into it. So this is a dark side. Lilith is the dark side, she loves it. She wants to express something that she cannot express every day because people consider it taboo. They consider it, you should just keep it to yourself. It's, we don't wanna hear this, it's disgusting. But you know, Lilith is like, no, 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 I wanna speak up. Because she has the fish, the Pisces. She's looking at two different energies, starting from birth and being raised. Already Pisces has a problem with the father. However, Pisces does not hate the father entirely. Pisces always has been a sign that looked for excuses and say, oh, well, my father wasn't there for me, you know, because he was busy with work or something like this. So Lilith grows up thinking that, you know, something is wrong with the father. The father in your life could be very positive. He could have been there your whole life and has done many great things in your life. But Lilith, the energy here represents mostly for everyone is the fact that she doesn't understand the father or if the father is absent in certain areas of her life, she will try to help the father, make up for that. She'll find a way to compensate. So if the father is not there to do her project, maybe she'll do the project and she'll tell you know people at school, yeah, my father helped me out on this. Look, he did a great job. And then she'll show the father later, hey, this is the project I sent into school, the one you were supposed to help. And look, everyone loved it. So. Lilith is that kind of uh, caring person who is saying, you know, because everything is not okay with my life in my family, 
I will try to step up and create that patch so everything is okay. She wants to do that, but there is another side of Lilith. She's like, you know what? My father's not here. Screw that guy. I'm not into this. I'm just going to focus on my mother because originally Pisces doesn't have any problem with the mother. So Lilith therefore does not have any problem with the mother either. So she feels like the mother is just okay. Whatever it is, what it is, is not a major point with this placement. The father is. So anyway, she brings this into her growing up stage. She feels, you know, maybe I cannot depend on people so much. She feels uh, trust is going to be a very serious issue. And she feels if things do not go her way, she has to step up to the plate and do everything by herself. So you're probably realizing as you grow up, you know, working with friends, they don't pull their weight or having group mates in your class, they don't pull their weight. You just tell yourself, I want things to be as happy as possible. Lilith is either going to be that good fish or the bad fish. The good fish is like, okay, fine, you know, people didn't do it. I will do it. I will just try to make sure that we get the project done. And if they slack off, they slack off. She feels like that. She feels like she has to do everything, put the burden on her shoulders. But in the end, she will pay for this through escapism, which I will explain later. Now, if you are the bad fish type of Lilith, most likely this energy is going to explain the fact that you let people know, hey, you are not pulling your weight. You have to pull your weight. Do it now. You have to get this done. It's not only going to be me who's working on this project. So most likely if Lilith in Pisces is in the 12th house, she'll most likely just try to keep calm and do what she has to do. But if she's in the 5th house, the 11th house, she will let people know, hey, you have to step up, you have to work together, come on, let's do this stuff. So she's a little bit different depending on the house, what energy she is going to also bring out into this house. So anyway, she's working with people, she tells herself, you know, everyone is not pulling their weight, either I yell at them, I tell them, hey, this is not a good job, or I just let them go and just do whatever I have to do. Now, Lilith is always thinking about the spiritual and the, uh, the material world. She feels that if things do not go her way, she's easily shaken. So she'll shake society. She'll rumble everything. She'll let people know that something is wrong with her, but she'll not fully express it. The whole Pisces energy has been uh, this whole time like I have my own source of emotional state in the ocean. That's where I feel I can release my energy, but unfortunately, that is going to conflict with the land, the material world. So people are going to feel that. I do not know if you know this, but if you live in kind of a volcano or like an earthquake zone, you'll notice that around April when Neptune was passing through, oh sorry, Mars was passing through Neptune, uh, there was a lot of earthquakes, especially in Taiwan. We had like 150 in one day, which was, you know, a lot that's just too many but this was a very emotional time and if you can think back if you have uh, Lilith and Pisces you can think back around uh, April how were you feeling at this time did you feel like a lot of energy was coming out because you were expressing yourself that could be the emotionality coming out here now of course she has this kind of uh, side that she wants to make friends she wants to be friendly with other people but sometimes Lily says you know what i cannot trust people i don't understand people i don't get people i only want to connect with a few people or i do not want to connect with people at all just you know smile go through my day just try to be happy whatever but at the end of the time or at the end of the day i really feel like i can do well just by being by myself Lilith finds comfort being alone and when her sex drive starts to kick in or when she needs that energy to be around other people, then of course she will do that. But Lilith teaches you that you can be strong, you can be independent by yourself, or you can be okay as long as you drink alcohol or you do drugs or something like this. She has this kind of side that tells you you have to be addicted to something to kind of release this because you don't know how to do it uh, naturally. You don't want to talk to people that might be a way to release stress so she feels like maybe it's better to just cope with it by doing something you know in my house where people cannot see she might feel that energy there so we see Lilith start to talk uh, to herself kind of like making herself go down she can be in this spiral Lilith feels like I just feel this is the best way to take care of myself 
So anyway, when it comes to work, Liz feels like she's okay. She doesn't want to make everything too serious. She's not really interested in money uh, because she's both spiritual and material as well. So she just says, you know what? Whatever is easy going, whatever is you know going to make me sail through, that's fine. But she does have a creative side. Liz knows when it's time to shine. And she does that through art. She, she does that through music. She does that through any type of media outsource. She does that with her, you know, any anything that she could do with her hands. She's really good at art. So you might find yourself working hard when it comes to this kind of, uh, you know, like musicians or painting and making movies, acting. She might be very strong there for you and you feel a bit of, of passion there. If you do OnlyFans, good for you. She likes this as well. She feels this is kind of a source for her to escape. Now, because Pisces is about darkness, not always being so open, she might finally like allow herself to be in XXX films. And this is a way for Lilith to say, this is the dark side. This is how I cope with my stress. And therefore I like this type of industry or this type of work. And therefore she, she does that. So you might find yourself doing something uh, secretly, but this is your job. So, uh, you know, of course this community will see you, but not everyone will see you. And of course, when someone uh, says, hey, I think I saw you and blah, blah, blah. Of course, you'll be like, I don't care. You know, deny it or lie about it. Just be like, I'm not going to tell this person 100. Uh, but anyway, when it comes to connections, it literally feels like if there's love, there's this balancing. She will focus on that. Of course, if the energy is easygoing, if it's flowing. But most of the time she feels like once she feels betrayed, left out, or not paying attention, right? She feel like, okay, maybe there's other people out there, or maybe I should not put too much energy into this relationship. It makes it hard for Lilith to trust people and to fall in love and to have that connection that's going to last for a long time. So if you feel that it's really difficult for you to find a partner, well, that's because Lilith, she's not really comfortable 100% in Pisces. She's fighting a lot of battles at this time. So, of course, when she finally feels like this is the one, then you will know. But most of the time, she's always excited to keep moving, to keep seeing a different side of her, keep seeing something else along the way. So if this Lilith does not want to stay in one place, let her go. Let her just express herself because she is both in the water and on land. She has many things to her that she needs to express. So allow her to do that. Anyway, if there's anything I have not said about Lilith in Pisces, what kind of energy, please let us know in the comments below. What is it like to have this placement? If you like this video, give me a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you in another episode, stars. Until then, goodbye.